Hello friends, in this video, I will say the main points of the lesson, Memoirs of a Chota Sahib. This lesson is extracted from John Rontree's famous book, A Chota Sahib, Memoirs of a Forest Officer. So let's start. Point 1. The author John Rontree himself is the Chota Sahib in the lesson, Memoirs of a Chota Sahib. He has written his experiences while he was staying in Guwahati. Point 2. He tells us that after a long tiresome journey across India, he arrived at Guwahati with his family. Point 3. They were given facilities to enter to a bungalow on the banks of the Brahmaputra by the Public Works Department. Point 4. They had a magnificent view of the amazing river with the boats sailed over it beyond the Himalayas. Point 5. Peacock Island was in front with the dome. Dome means a rounded roof of a Hindu temple could be visible through the trees. There was no peacock as it was named so, except some monkeys. Point 6. They had some unusual visitors in the bungalow, one of which was a tiger probably washed up by a flood. Unusual means not common or extraordinary. Point 7. Gohati in the Kamrup district was the headquarters of both North and South Banks. Point 8. The North Bank had a vast flat and ageless land between the sand banks of the Brahmaputra and the Himalayas. It was a strange place where the rivers dried up in the hot weather and suddenly disappeared underground. The North Bank had bills, Manush Wildlife Sanctuary, rivers with full of moshir, moshir means fish. Point 9. The Asham Chital or Futuki Harin was found in the Manush Wildlife Sanctuary. Point 10. The banks of the rivers had a favorite site for the governor's Christmas camps which were built by the author. The author John Ronty was the last British senior conservator of forests of Assam. Point 11. During the cold weather, the North Bank was delightful, but during rainy season, people fought with malaria and so travel at this time could be problematic. Point 12. People on the north bank had to cross the river in a mar boat or a ferry. Point 13. Once the author experienced bumpy rides, bumpy means uneven or tough, bumpy rides with his family, which was risky and uncomfortable on the top of embankment. Since the way was narrow and single, their car slipped and they fell down on a paddy field six feet below the road. Point 14. On the other hand, the author found the south bank more homely than the north bank. It was a country of low hills and valley and trees interspersed with villages and cultivators. Interspersed means scattered. Point 15. Two comfortable forest bungalow on the south bank served their needs one at Kulshi and another at Rajapara. Point 16. The author's favorite was Kulshi. He liked the forest bungalow at Kulshi which was comfortable. It was located on a wooden branch 
अबाउट द रिवर पॉइंट सेवेंटीन राजापारा बांगलो वज इक्ुअली चार्मिंग हियर दथर हैड ए टेरिफिक एक्सपेरियंस उथ द बैट्स द बैट्स लिफ्ट इन इट्स रोफ देर वज बैड स्मेल अफ बैट हुईच वज एवर उथ दैम बट द फ्रूट इटिंग बैट्स उथ ए उंग स्पान अफ फाइव फिट हैड लेस स्मेल हुईच लिफ्ट इन ए ट्री आउट साइड द बांगलो पॉइंट एट्टीन There was a large bill close to the bungalow, which was dry before. An earthquake had once lowered the surface, and the land became filled with water. Point nineteen. In spite of its horror associations, however, Rajapara was a pleasant place to work in for the author. The jungle bird collected the leftover grain after harvest in the paddy fields. The paddy fields were cheerful, sunny, and open spacious. Point twenty. There was a rubber plantation of Ficus elastica close to the Rajapara bungalow. So, friends, these are the main points of this lesson, and. Please like share and subscribe this channel